cold on y'all? Y'all okay? I'm in the first chapter of Jeremiah. Are you there? Amen. Did I, did I say chapter one? Okay. Come on, stand with me. That's reverence God's word. Well, you, you ain't standing for me. I ain't the president of nothing. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, I formed thee in the belly. I knew thee. And before thy cameth forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Oh, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak. For I am a child. The excuses. Verse 7 uh, says, But the Lord said unto me, Say not that I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Do you see that? Amen. Then the Lord put forth his hand, and he touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have set thee this day, excuse me, see, I have this day set thee over the nations, over the kingdoms to do what? To root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. Look at verse 17. Thou, he's talking to you. Thou therefore gird up the loins, thy loins, and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confuse thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city. Can't nobody get to you. Huh? God said, I, I built something around. I made you a city. He said, and an iron pillar and brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. Uh, For I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee. Thank you, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. What you scared of? What you running from? Oh, my God. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you all glory, honor, and we give you praise. Father, as I stand here behind this desk, oh God, I decrease that you might increase in me. Spirit of the living God, finish what you started in this house. In the name of Jesus, root out, tear down, and then build up. After your word has been preached, confirm it with signs following. We give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Please be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Somebody, you came this morning. You came to hear from God. He's getting ready to talk. He's getting ready to speak. Amen. He's getting ready to speak. <clears throat> and so... My topic this morning, it's time to cry loud and spare not. It's time to cry loud and spare not. Amen. Yeah. I don't care who don't want to hear the word of God. Cry loud. Spare not. You know, one thing about a prophet, if, well, I'm going to say it too fast. I, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. John chapter 9, verse 4 says, I must work the works of him that sent me while this day. The night cometh and no man can work. This was Jesus talking to his disciples. You can't work from the grave. Amen. Don't carry the anointing on your life to the grave. Amen. Amen. Utilize the anointing. Because the anointing is the yoke destroying, burden removing power of God. Utilize the anointing. The anointing comes from Holy Spirit. He anoints us so that we can work in ministry. He don't anoint us to be cute. 
You know, people got all kind of names they put on business, anointed hands cleaning. Oh, this crazy stuff. They ain't, some of them ain't even born again. Hey, man, talk to me. You know, people in the, in the world utilize a lot of stuff of the church. Amen? Amen. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people, oh God, a lot of people wear the cross around their neck. Yeah, what did the cross mean to you? Yeah, because the cross is a, is a symbol of suffering. Amen. Oh, you got one on. Okay. All right. That's why you're going through much suffering. So they wear the cross, but they, they, we shouldn't be on the cross. Talk back to me. Hey, ain't, no, ain't no personal attack this morning. I, I didn't know you had the cross, so I had to look over there and <laughs> So, we ready? I don't know who I came to talk to this morning, but this word is going to be directly for some people. I know it ain't just for one person, but it's going to be direct. And what you got to do is take this word and you got to eat it up. Amen. Amen. If you go to Ezekiel chapter 2 and read the entire chapter, I think it's about 10 verses over there, you'll see the same thing that God called Ezekiel to do. And they told Ezekiel in the last verse to eat all of it. So they said, eat all of it. See, a lot of times we want to we want to go to the Bible and cherry pick scriptures. Yeah, pick certain scriptures out that we like. My, oh, that's my favorite scripture. We want to try to apply them to some of this stuff. The, the, the Bible talks about in Romans 8, 28, and we know yes, that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and the called according to his purpose. So now the world want to use that scripture, and it don't even apply. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, it don't apply. I don't care who don't like what I got to say this morning. Amen. It don't matter. Click off, leave, it don't matter. I ain't trying to be arrogant about it, but at the same time, you know, we got to say what we need to say. Amen. If a pastor or somebody stand up to, to preach and, and they're worried about how much money somebody giving or whether they're going to leave or not, you don't need to be pastor. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. 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 I'm that one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I told him, I'm like, look, I'm a different man in the spirit. There's a whole lot of things in the spirit I can say that I can't probably can't say in the natural. Mm -hmm. So this morning our topic is cry loud. Mm -hmm. It's time to cry loud and spare not. Amen. Some of the people around you that you need to you need to tell the truth. You ain't told them. Come on, sir. You holding back because you worried about their feelings. Yeah, God gonna get you for it. Come on. Amen. Amen. He gonna get you for it because he done told you several times. Matter of fact, some of the unbelievers you're hanging out with, you ain't got no business hanging out with them. Amen. 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 And God gonna keep saying it until you make some changes. Amen. You can fold your arms up, you can roll your eyes, you a good candidate for hell. Amen. You don't get delivered. Come on, sir. So we're living in perilous times, whether we want to admit it or not. Do anybody know we're living in perilous times? Amen. Very perilous times. But what the word perilous is dangerous. These times we're living in the dangers. We, we're uncertain of a lot of things. You don't know what might happen next. That's right. But then, but then you know, but then the church don't want to pray. Mm -hmm. We want to run around with everybody else and do what everybody else is doing. That's right. Amen. Amen. Wasting time doing nothing. I ain't that, I'm not saying that you have to be on your face praying 24 hours, 7 days a week, but I'm just saying some of this stuff and some of these people, we need to simply cut off. Amen. They don't mean you no good. Amen. Amen. Every time they come up with something, you right there with them. Smile like a chess cat. Go back to me now. We need to make sure that we constantly seek the face of God for direction. Amen. Amen. You go into a lot of different people, but you ain't seeking God. Come on, Jeremiah in, 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 in Jeremiah 9 in, in verse uh, verse 1, Jeremiah was called a weeping prophet for a reason. Yes, sir. You know. A lot of times we, you know, a lot of times we see people conditioned, but we don't say nothing about it. Come on. Yeah. We're not weeping on, we're laughing with them. Now is not the time to give up or give in. Come on here. There's a message to be delivered, and God has called and commissioned us to get in position for the assignment. Amen. Yeah, while we're out here doing all this other stuff, entertaining flesh. Come on. Yeah, entertaining flesh. Churches just doing stuff. Just wasting resources. Doing nothing. Amen. Because they want to fill the church up. 
with a bunch of people that ain't even born again. Yes, Amen. Come on. If you come to a ministry and you stay there for three or four months and you don't give your life to the Lord, there's something wrong with the anointing in that house. All right now. Yeah, if, if, if it don't cause you to make a change, come on, man. You know, you come in contact with what the word, Jeremiah said the word is like. So when you come in contact with fire, you don't say this. You don't leave the presence of, the, of, of God, which is fire, like you came. So if the word of God is that powerful in the house, then why you leave like you came? Why you ain't made a change in your eternal life? Come on. Come on now. Amen. We're just running around laxing there. Well, I'm thinking about, I'm going to give my life to the Lord next week. But I need to get in the prayer line because I need a truck. You better preach. Oh you better preach up in here. Listen. So God never called the qualified. He qualifies those he calls. Oh, now. That's it right there. Yeah. You, you know, you know, you coming to God all qualified with your degree, with your degrees. <laughs> Hey Amen. You got more degrees than a thermometer guy, but you ain't got no anointing. Huh? You ain't got no anointing. Amen. Amen. Everything you preach got to come on paper. Yeah, you got all your notes tight. Hey, glory. You got all your, night, your notes tightened up and pretty. Yeah, come on. A lot of times God give you something in the middle of the night. You, it don't be pretty when you stand to, when the, you stand to speak. Come on, you gotta say something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, if He change your message on the way to church, you are gonna be jacked up because you don't know what you gonna do. Yeah, okay. Amen. Come on. Come on, you talking. Program. We program churches to death. We ain't print no programs in here. Amen. 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 Don't waste your ink. <laughs> I mean, because people are going to get the program and then it's going to be left in the chair for somebody to clean up. Amen. Amen. Just come. That's right. Amen. Let the Holy Ghost have his way. Yeah, yeah but we got to do such and such. Just come. Yeah. Let the Holy Ghost, let him be, let him orchestrate the, the service. Amen. It's okay. Amen. Sometimes we might not preach, mm -hmm. but we're going to give you a scripture. Amen. Amen. Yeah, come on. They that are led of the Spirit uh, are the sons of God. Come on now. Yeah, yes. I, you know, I, I know it's a lot of things that people don't like what I say, but uh, cause I, I'm only going to say what God tells me to say. That's something I try to hold back because I say some things in my flesh that I get myself in a lot of trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Amen. But, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to refrain from saying what I want to say. Mold my lips, Lord. <laughs> Listen to this. You know, to watch this, just because, you know, God called you, he don't call to qualify. He qualified those he called, but then you still got to get somewhere and get developed. That's right. Right. Don't, 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 don't get that twisted. Right 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 you won't get up here and jack no mess up. Come on, sir. Amen. We don't have jack stands. We don't put mess on stands. Amen. Or display. Amen. 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 Yeah, you got to go through. Get, I mean, come on now. You know, people, they, they even have a school of prophets in the Bible. Yeah, they have a school of prophets. Come on now. Jesus told him, he sent his disciples down and told them, but now you don't want to be told. Oh, and I came with a license. And I, was, I don't care what you came with. You can come with instructions and I still won't read them. Yeah. My God. Amen. God said he was going to fill this house and watch what he do. Amen. Amen. That's watch what he does. Because I refuse to preach to, to, to carpet and chairs. I want to preach the souls. Amen. 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 Yes, Come on, lights. Hallelujah. They ain't going to say that. <laughs> Don't fool yourself. It's your deep self. Don't fool yourself. Listen to this. Although we all sometimes feel like that we can't fulfill the assignment that God has called us to, we can just rest assured that if he's called us to it, he knows that we can perform it. Amen. God ain't never call you to, to call you to something that he knows you can't do. It's going to stretch you to get there. Yes, sir. Huh? It's going to take more than you. It's going to take more than what you've been doing. And that's why we don't, we don't like to be challenged to change. You can't come to Christ and remain the same. Amen? Amen. 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 What you were doing when you were out of Christ. Come on. Be seated. Before Christ. Amen. You can't be doing while you in Christ. Because it's going to require some change. You know, people don't, people don't like to say, well, you know, you know, people got struggles. Well, you can't struggle all the way to heaven. You can't struggle all the way to heaven. You got to get delivered at some point. 
Because there's certain things that ain't going to inherit the kingdom. I'm just... <laughs> Come on now. There's some things that ain't going to inherit the kingdom, so I just might as well tell you. Do you have a Bible? If you don't, I'll give you one. Amen. Amen. Come on. But there's some things that will not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Okay? So let nobody fool you. Well, you can stay that way and God understand. He died for sin. Come on, now. Come on, sir. Amen. We can't stay in a sinful condition and think we're going to heaven. That's right. Say that. We must understand that God has already equipped us to face any situation or go to any place and deliver his word effectively. But it's going to take, it's going to take some working on what God has told you to say. Amen. You can't talk. Look, uh, uh, Jeremiah reminds me of Moses. Remind me of Moses. He said, I'm a child. He was young. They want a child. He said, but you know, I'm immature in that area. And I know some of you are immature in that area, but you got the key, you got to work at it. And then you got to work at it. When you want to get better at something, you work at it. That's right. Right? Right. First time you got on the bicycle, you probably got some scars when you had to work at it. Amen. Did you did you stop getting on the bike? No. I bet that you probably ain't rode one of you. I got on mine yesterday. Uh-huh. And rode the bike. Hadn't rode the bike in years, but I didn't fall. Amen. Amen. Didn't fall. I didn't ride a bike backwards. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You do that. I can ride a bike backwards. Amen. I ain't done it in years. I guarantee I get on there and ride it backwards. Amen. Why? Because I practice over the years. Amen. Yeah. Practice being a sinner. That's why you're so good at it. Speak up in heaven. You know, it don't, it don't take no practice at that. We just do it because we, now that's the nature we have. Amen. So then when you get the new nature that God gives me when I give my life to him, now I got to empower that nature. Yes, sir. See? Work that empowering that. And watch how you come out of what you were in. Amen. You know why we don't come, come out of what we were in? Because we don't work at what we come into. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. Come on. If you leave an old relationship and start a new relationship, what do you got to do with the old relationship? Well, close it up then. Yeah, we got to close the door on that. You can't start a new chapter until the old chapter is finished. That's right. But we want to hold hands with Moses and then go with Joshua. Can't do it. You, 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 are, you are insane. <laughs> you are. Okay. All right. Hey, listen to this right here. Mm -hmm. It's time out for putting God's work on hold. It's a dying world out there that needs a living Savior. And God is commanding us to stand up for him and proclaim his word in these last days. It's time to cry loud. Spirit, now I don't care if it's your man. man. Tell her the truth. Boy, I raised you! Yeah, I know, but you need to get right. Amen. One of the things I'm so grateful for, I gave my mama the most trouble out of all the children. One of the things I'm grateful for, she saw me say when she left him. Amen. Amen. Her little prayers, they prevail much. Amen. Amen. Saw me get baptized. Come on. Amen. Amen. All right. Because a lot of times people, you know, people count you out now. They do. They count you out. Hey, that boy ain't never going to be nothing. Sure ain't. You, you remember, I think it was Philip said, did any good thing come out of Nazareth? Yeah. What did Jesus say? Let him come see. I told him the same thing. Any good thing come out of Maggieville? Come see. Come, on, come see. Preach the out of you. Right. Come see. <laughs> Listen to this. My first point. I'm gonna this is a, a divine call. It's got nothing to do with us. Uh, Luke 12, 48. The B section. For unto whom much is given, of him shall be much required. We know. We know. We know the scripture. So God requires more of you. So you got to put in more. The closer you get to God, the more you got to get rid of. I told you about the tabernacle last week, right? The Bible said in, in, in Matthew chapter 7, now is the way to life. Few be that find it. Wide is the way to destruction. Many will be on that road to destruction. 
And then the book of Isaiah says the hell is enlarging itself daily. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people selling their souls out Amen. to the devil. That's right. And when you sell it out, you can't buy it back. Right. It's a done deal. Oh it's a done deal. Come on. Amen. It's a done deal now. So watch this. Galatians 1.15. You, you can't read it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You're okay. I got it. Galatians. Galatians 1.15. The Bible says, but when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace. Come on, this is for somebody. God separated you. I ain't, I ain't never been like my sisters and brothers. I'm making that person don't hate. This is, this is my hour right here where I can talk about me. Amen. Come on. And, 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 and add God's word because I know I was ordained a prophet before me and my mama met. When I left God, I was already ordained. Yeah. I couldn't get away with nothing. I stayed in trouble. I always got caught. I'm so glad I got caught. Kept me out of hell. I'm so glad I got caught. Hallelujah. I'm glad I, I ain't get caught. That's you. I almost said something. Trying to refrain, trying to stay out my face. Because people that knew me before Christ, they knew I did it right. I mean, I went all the way, all, all, the, all the way out. Come on, come on, talk about it. Okay. I did something, I did it right. You saw me, I was good and drunk. Come on. Good and high. Yes, sir. Good liar. Yes, sir. But God. But God. Yeah. We're laughing then, they ain't laughing now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Woo, so we must first understand that the call on your life is divinely from God. Yeah. See, 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 watch this. I found out later that all the stuff that I went through was building up the anointing that was going to be on my life. See, as far down in sin as you was, as great as the anointing that will be on your life. Now, I didn't do it on purpose. See, but the enemy, he purposed it for my bad. God had another plan. Yeah. Help me somebody this morning. Am I preaching to anybody? Uh, ain't no such. Let me help you. Look, erase black sheep. Ain't no such thing. Ain't no black sheep. Well, it might be an ugly sheep, but ain't no black sheep. <laughs> yeah. You know, the black sheep and I ain't no such thing. I, I, I know your grandma and them taught you that. Yeah, yeah. It's not about us, but it's all about proclaiming God's word. See, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10, it says, as the water come down and water the earth, so is my word that come. It said, the word that come, it will not return back unto me void. See, I'm a word sent from heaven. Amen. And I ain't going to return void. When I stand before God, I'll be empty because I have be poured out everything that God put in me. Amen. Mm, that's good. Yeah. I won't stand before God with an unborn baby. Mm, my God, that's Come good. on here. Yeah, you better push that baby out and deliver that ministry. Come on. It's nothing great that we have done. It's the, uh, the sovereignty of God that we were chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God chose you from your mother's womb. You were chosen. Yeah, you you were chosen. Many are called, but few. Come on, come on. See, if he's telling you that, don't 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 ring nothing. You 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 might not be chosen. <laughs> Talking to somebody this morning, that God handpicked. Amen. My God, you've been picked out to be picked on. Come on. Hey, Amen. You you think it's a bad thing, but David, you got to understand, David 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 was put out there all by himself. Mm, I know I know you feel like you're a loner. I know, I, I ain't never got nobody, but you know what? It's good to be alone. It is. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you can distinguish whether people that's talking to you is from God or from the devil. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And then watch this. God, yeah, yeah, you got your yeah, God and poured the oil on you. I get it. But guess what? It still ain't time to leave. That's my God. Yeah, David got the oil poured on him in front of his brothers, and he still had to go back and keep sheep for another season. That's 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 yeah, I came over here full of oil. Well, sit down and fill your lap up. <laughs> Let your light shine in the corner over there. Yes, sir. Yeah, but he's shining up here. Not yet. Amen. Amen. It's okay. Amen. Come on, sir. Amen. Yeah, God called me the pastor. <laughs> Not over here. <laughs> yeah, that's confusion. Because he ain't got but one hand in the house. Amen. Ain't no such thing as pastor and co-pastor. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. Ain't no such thing as pastor and co-pastor. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm the pastor, my wife the co-pastor. Ain't no such thing. Show it to me in the book. That's it. Come on. Throw them in the book. Yes. You got a co-pastor in the church, you might have a you might have a co-husband in the house. 
Two husbands in the house. Okay. No, I'm just trying to help somebody. Order. Come on. God likes order. Yes, he does. You know, you know what blesses your heart when you, you, you hear somebody that God gave the same revelation and they start saying it and you hear it. The only thing I can say is, you know my favorite word, glory. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Nothing. Glory. All right. We've been handpicked by God to carry his word. It should be an honor and a privilege to share and speak on God's behalf. Yeah, as a prophet, you are a mouthpiece of God. Yes. Amen. Just say what God tell you to say. I don't care who you upset. Amen. I don't care how many doors is shut. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Stop going to some of these churches and, and tell them what they want to hear. Say what the Lord say. Come Amen. on now. Come on. Say what the Lord say. Yeah. I don't care whether they have you back or not. <laughs> Amen. I don't make no appointments. I don't make none, man. I want your calendar to look like I ain't got that. No, I'm serious. Somebody asked me that. I'll check your calendar and see if you. I ain't got no calendar. Calendar. <laughs> they said, "Well, see, you got so." One joker told me, "Well, you, you got so much, so much word, and you all this. Why you ain't got? Why you don't go nowhere and preach? Don't nobody invite me." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. Don't nobody invite me, man. I mean, I, I get some some invites. Do I take them all? No. Amen. I'll take some of the Lord. I pray. I know you don't. You desperate. <laughs> yeah, you definitely. When you start looking at an offering, you might want to look. You know what I told one church? They want me to come and preach. You coming? You come. Look, look, look. I'm not coming. I'll send an offering. That's what I did. Duh, duh, duh. I, no, I told them, I'll meet you and give you an offering. I ain't heard nothing back from Because they don't want to hear what you got to say. Amen. They want to see what you got to bring. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Talking right there. Yeah. yeah. I'm, finna, I'm just right here to pull somebody's pants down to the floor. Come on, bring it out. Some people think it's cute to run from God. That's ignorance. I'm running from God. Well, stay away from me. That's ignorant. You, you don't, you don't know, you, you don't know the danger. When you run from God, you're running right out of His will. Help us out today, sir. You're not. I know I'm calling. I'm, just, I'm running. I'm, but you up in praise and worship in the line. And after, after you out in praise and worship, you know, you first of all in praise when you jumping. But you out, you're running. Mm -hmm. But you jumping around in praise and worship. Then when the, when the prayer line opened, you the first one up there. But you running from God. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Adam and Eve, when they done something wrong, they ran from God. Right. See, they won't really hide because God knew it. Yeah, you can't hide. Where can you go and hide from God? You can't go nowhere and hide from Him. Huh. God's presence is everywhere. Watch this. You might not be in it, but His presence is everywhere. Have you ever noticed when you when when I first came in Christ, I seen people with their hands up, crying for me, because I didn't understand they had a relationship. But in praise, oh, yeah. everybody getting it on. We're gonna go, girl. Get your girl, 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 get your girl. <laughs> and then after they, then after they settled down and got in worship, the one that was praising sat down. Mm -hmm. So I learned over the years they didn't have a relationship. That's right. Wow, that's good. Yeah, they didn't have a relationship because the Bible says let everything that. So anybody can praise him. That's right. A dog can praise him. Come on. I know, I, know, I, know, I know it sounds crazy. I know, I know it does. Yeah, but anything can praise because it's got prayer. Yeah. Tree, look at them trees. Look at them, look at them trees swaying. They ain't praising them. That's right. God said, he said in the scriptures, I can show it to you. I'll make the mountains clap their hands. Hallelujah. Okay, let me say it. I know you, you probably never read that. Let me say this because you heard it. I'll make, if you don't praise me, I'll make, uh, <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So so anybody can praise God, but everybody can't worship him. Yeah, you can't worship him. Yes, sir. And then and then you know, you worship him with your hands lifted and you in adoration and you just adore him. And after a while, you know, you get to a place where your lifestyle becomes worship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People are hating on you. You think you deep. No, I don't think no, no, you think I'm deep. Right. <laughs> you think I'm deep. I walk by you and my, my presence knock you out. Now that's deep. 
<laughs> okay, look. So don't run from run to God. It's not cute for us to say, you know, I know, I know what God told me and all that, but you're not walking in it. Come on, help us out. Don't ask God for nothing Amen. until you get in that place. Amen. Is that right to God? Okay, parents, you told your kids uh, to clean their room up. Okay? Of course, maybe you might give them an allowance to clean their room up. They don't clean their room up. You still going to give them an allowance? No. Why not? Okay, so, so, so they, they need not ask you for nothing. The old folks do. You need not ask me for nothing. So, so it's the same thing with God. If God called you to do something and you ain't doing it, you need not ask God nothing. Wow. Sit over there in the corner until you get your little heart right and get your little feelings out of the way. Amen. 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 I feel some kind of way. Man, get out of there. Food. Get your soul saved. That's where your feelings at. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I feel some kind of way. Okay. What that supposed to mean? I didn't feel like coming to church. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. We, you know, we, come on. God, God didn't call us because God didn't call me because He knew how uh, I might feel about it. Amen. He knew that He put something in me that the world needs. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. That's good. Okay, so. Uh, some people think it's, it's, it's uh, cute to run from God. It's time to sound the trumpet. Yes. Yeah, that's telling people the truth. Now, your voice is a trumpet. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? Yeah. Uh, every message from God is not houses and cars. That's right. That's right. Uh, God. Every time you come to the altar, God may not prophesy. I see God get ready to open the door. He might be a door. I see God get ready to shut the door until you get in his will. See, because I'm, I'm, I'm learning when God gave me a prophetic word for somebody that's a word of destruction. Uh, God said, look, you're not pleased with this. You need to get yourself in order. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. God ain't going to bless me on top of mess now. Come on, sir. Amen. Come on. He blessed me enough to wake me up to get it right. Yes, Come on now. And that thing you think that's hidden, it ain't hidden. It ain't hidden. It ain't hidden. It ain't hidden. Mm -hmm. I promise you. Some of this stuff we think, it ain't, man. If I can get in the realm of the spirit. You can be talking to me, and not to God. Said they lying. Yes, sir. I said you sure, right? Okay. As long as you sure, cause I ain't. <laughs> Listen to this. God sometimes sends a word of rebuke and chastens us. He loves us just that much. Hebrews twelve six. For whom the Lord loveth, He chastens. Yeah, when you you love your children enough to discipline them. If you don't discipline your children, they're gonna embarrass you. When you least expected it. And watch this. Chastisement starts at home. Starts at home. If they are if they are messing public, something going on in Jerusalem. Amen. Let them run like wild asses at home now. Amen. Come on. What is it gonna be like in public? Licking their tongue out at you and stuff? I wish a young man would, boy. Wow. They get me for challenge because I'm gonna get him. Yeah. I run around and stoke till I catch him. I'm gonna get that joke, I don't care who child is. Hey, oh, yes, sir. This is your day right here. You better get your breakthrough. Yes, Lord. Come on. Woo. Jeremiah's message was to tear down, to root out. Come on. It won't always good. That's right. Just like the prophet Micaiah. Mm -hmm. See, they didn't like Micaiah because Micaiah didn't prophesy smooth things. Mm -hmm. Every time Micaiah opened his mouth, it was rebuked. Mm -hmm. Some of us, that's what we need, man. Amen. We just need to be corrected. Amen. I don't care how mad you get about things, just change something. Amen. Just change something. Amen? Amen. Want everything to go your way. You want, you want everything to be a skip through the rose garden. Mm -hmm. Not in this kingdom. Not in this kingdom, I say. Amen. 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 Mothers, fathers, chastise your children. Amen. Okay? I know I know what kind of time we're living in, but if I can't beat mine, the police better come get them. Amen. I'm serious. They, I bet they, no. oh. I'm going to stick with the word the Bible says, spur the rod, you spoil the child. Okay? I'm going to raise mine up in the ways of the Lord. Amen. 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 You don't love them that much. You got to let, let them cuss. That's not cute. 
Well, 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 I mean, why would they be leaving, uh, learning profanity at anyway? Oh, if they're learning profanity, they're wrong around people. The wrong people. They're wrong somebody, and that's not right. Yeah. right. How can they cuss so fluently and can't hardly speak? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about it. They, 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 but they can cuss right. I ain't gonna say no, I don't cuss. I don't, don't, don't look at me and say that. I'll let you say it and tell you, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Amen. God has a specific call for us. We're called to a ministry of deliverance. Yes. I'm just talking about the LDR now. We're called to deliverance. Amen. Amen. It's not the Lord says, let me help somebody because it's not deliverance every week. Amen. Everybody ain't got to spit in the trash can. Amen. Let me help somebody. Amen. Amen. People get delivered a whole lot of different ways. Right. Okay? Let's get out of this thing. Everybody got to be, their hands got to be laid on somebody. Come on. They don't always work. Jesus didn't touch everybody that got delivered. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Some people, you got to exercise your faith in every uh, area of deliverance in your life. You got to exercise your faith. Amen. I can't put all my faith up and expect God to help you get delivered and you don't want it. Amen. One demon that you can never cast out is a spirit that's been invited. It ain't going nowhere. Right. You can fight all day. You you can you you gonna get a whole gallon of oil and pour. <laughs> this be a sweet demon. <laughs> That's all it'll be. Amen. 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 Let's 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 move. Good. Good. We're the called out ones. That's what the word ecclesia is. The called out ones. Amen. The called out ones. I know who God called me to. Okay, he called me to be equipped leaders. Amen. 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 This is boot camp. Amen. I know when I was going through basic training, I didn't like the way they talked to me. To but I guess what? I didn't. <laughs> wouldn't say nothing back, though. Because see, back in the old army, them jokers would knock you out. <laughs> now you got stress calls and all. Man. <laughs> They got, I'm telling you, they got, they got time out. That's what they, they got called time out. Now, you, you can't talk to them rough like, man, they're talking about your mama, your girlfriend, your sister. They're talking about Jody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that's, that's how they talk to us back then, man. No I, I was in the old army. I was in the real army. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. That made, it made a real man out of you. Amen. Okay? Hey man, they, you know the thing about it, you know, these, these, these armies now, the army now, they're making soft soldiers. That's right. yeah, they're making soft soldiers. They got beards and all that. Man, they care about you bumping up, you better shave. Yeah, that's right. If your head swole up, you better shave. <laughs> now they got full beard. Man, you a soldier. Yeah. They got beard being full. Like, they ain't got to shave it. Okay. Wow. Like a civilian. Yeah. So it's a reason why Uncle Sam wants us looking that way. It's a reason why God wants us looking a certain way. He wants you, when you're standing in ranks, to look like a soldier. Standing dress right, dress. Yeah. He wants your spirit to be ironed and pleated. Come on. He don't want you, your stuff all wrinkled up, blemished. And he don't want you that way. No spots. Hey, glory. God wants you clean. Yes. Yeah, because there, there, there's several vessels in the house of the Lord. It says there's silver, gold, wood, and clay. Right? Yeah, because, you know, those first two, silver and gold, they go through fire. God can use any vessel, but he'd rather you be purified. So when the fire comes now, it's coming. Will you last? Yeah, because John the Baptist, he told, he told the disciples, says, one coming after me. He said, I ain't even worthy to tie his shoes. He said, he gonna, he said, I'm just baptizing you unto repentance, which is water. He said, but this one coming behind me, you ain't going to be able to fool him. Right. See, I take you down the water, and you still might come up and might not be right. He said, but the one, <laughs> he said, but the one coming after me, you can't fool him because he won't give you the Holy Ghost unless you clean. My God. Huh? He said, not only with the Holy Ghost, he said, there's something else to come with it. Fire to burn out the stuff that you don't need. Yes, yes, yes. See, some of us need to have a fire encounter. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no fire department been to your house. Ain't no alarms going off. Yeah. But I told you, man, uh, the Bible talks about Romans chapter 12, verse 1. A living sacrifice is a sacrifice that's set on fire and not consumed. That's what a living sacrifice is. 
Amen. It, it's like it's like it's like over in Acts one and eight. That witness is a martyr. You want to be a witness, but you don't want to die. Mm. Wow. You can't. You got to die. You got. It that got to be a death when you come to Christ. Amen. Amen. A death got to take place. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Okay. All right. Well, you, you keep living then. Listen to this. Ah, uh, let go back up. Hold on a minute. So watch this. So we are, we are called out ones. Oh God, for a hard to reach people. That's why God got certain chosen ones. You know, that's, that's for hard to reach people. You got a lot of people that's been rejected. Yeah. You got a lot of people that I don't, I don't believe in church hurt, but you got a lot of people that's been hurt by people in the church. Yes, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I got church hurt. Well, you hurt somebody too. You know, sometimes the pastor get hurt too. What you do about the pastor? Oh, you, oh, you, 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 you okay? Why am I okay and you not? Huh? She bite. She bite shepherds. Mm -hmm. Don't you shut? Don't you bite me no more? <laughs> you ever train the animal? Amen. When the animal do certain things, you got a piece of newspaper and you slap him across his nose. Y'all, 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 there you go with the stress cards again. Yeah. How you gonna train her? I guarantee he won't do that no more. Yeah. He won't do that no more. Man, when you're raising dogs and you're training them, you got to do some, it's like a child, okay. When you're training a child, they do something wrong. You want to discipline them, you don't mind no more to hit so you take what they love. That's a form of discipline. They won't, they won't do that no more. I'm telling you, that rolled up newspaper with some duct tape, wrapped in duct tape, and you pop that dog. Yeah. All you got to do when you get ready, you, you, I got you. <laughs> you already know. All you got to do is lay it right there. He get ready to get it. All right. <laughs> so listen to this. So God says, that our past qualifies us for this type of deliverance ministry. Our past qualifies us. My past qualifies me to help people out the ditch that I was in. Amen. Now that I'm out the ditch. Amen. Okay? Yes, that's good. Yeah, so my past qualifies me. Say, for instance, I might have been an alcoholic. Okay, you struggle with alcoholism, maybe drugs, or whatever it is. But most of the time, I have to have been in that in order to help you out of that. Right. Okay? But I got to be good at delivering. Yes, sir. Right. Come on, come on. Okay. Yeah, Talk yeah, yeah. Right. Talk right. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Jeremiah's life was strict. He couldn't, he was forbidden, forbidden to marry. Yeah, he was, he was forbidden to marry. It's in the Bible. You'll find it. Yeah, he, was, he couldn't marry. He wouldn't let the pleasures of this life contaminate the call of the anointing. That, that, that disqualifies some of us right there. Some of us can't sit still. Wow. Yeah. Anytime, anytime you can't sit still and read, there's something wrong with your spirit. Amen. Amen. You got to discipline your spirit. Amen. Sometimes you, I don't like reading, but you like eating. <laughs> okay, so look at, look, look at the word. Look at the, read the word like eating. Amen. Train yourself. I didn't like to read either, but now I've got a library. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. I mean, Amen. come on, man. Yeah. Amen. What, what, what do you do the most? That's what you love. Don't answer, please. Don't answer. Because some people can't cut the TV off. Come on. Yeah. Don't talk about the phones. Please don't talk about them phones. Yeah, please don't talk about them phones. Them phones is all. Please don't talk about them phones. Please. <laughs> Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Moreover. Whom he did predestinate, predestinate, them he also called. And, and whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Amen. So there's a lot of steps in there. You, you ain't going to get to that place until you please God in some areas. It's going to take some work on this building. Amen. Amen. God is not looking for us to be perfect. He, he wants us to be striving to get there. Amen. The Bible said, when he that is perfect shall appear, then we should be like him. Yeah. So we're getting there. We're going somewhere. My life should be getting, looking more and more like Christ, not less and less like me, more and more like the devil. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I ain't, talking about, I ain't talking about hourly. You know, we can dress the outside up real good now. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about inwardly. Yes, sir. Amen. 
David said, uh, David said, he said, I want to know you in my inward parts. Yeah. Oh, God. That's a fight right there. Good. Good. Yeah, I fix my hair, I shave, I put on my suit, and I go about my day. Everybody think I got it going on. <laughs> but inside, I'm miserable. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not living like that. Amen. Yeah. When something, when something is going wrong with my wife, I'm going to work on it. Amen. Amen. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna be in denial. Let's not, a lot of people walk around in denial. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, in denial. You got stuff going on. Somebody say, you, you know, yeah, I'm good. You sure about that now? Come on, let, 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 come on let's be real. Yeah. 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 You came in last week and your wig was twisted. <laughs> And you said you was okay. I didn't say nothing. Because <laughs> you almost really forgot to put it on. <laughs> but you good. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I ain't, I ain't even looking in the mirror. Yeah, you got something going on. Well, if, you see, if you see what we see. So God desires to get the, the glory out of our lives. Our past is only for a testimony for the glory of God. Let me help you. Please. Your testimony is not for the whole world. Amen. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, sometimes we get this, this itch. Yes. And we'll, we'll start saying something to anybody. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody, don't nobody need to know, you know what you used to be. Mm -hmm. that's right. Except if you meet somebody that's in that condition. Then you, then you might be able to testify and say, honey, let me share something with you. Mm -hmm. I know you got a whole lot going on. You're out here on the street because you're talking about you want to pay your rent, but you really, you, you know, you're really in bondage to this prostitution. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, come on. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Tell the truth. Yeah, you got, you got to meet them people right where they are and say, look, I, I've been there. Mm -hmm. You know, I know I don't, you know, we, I know I don't look like what I've been through, mm -hmm. but uh, let me help you. Amen. Yeah. yeah, and then you can testify to them. Yeah. We get in public and we write books and all that and tell all our business. Come on. No. It's not always good. It's not always good to tell people don't need to know everything. That's right. Amen. I want to write an autobiography, but God said people don't need to know everything. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If I tell my real testimony, people start moving their pocketbooks. Maybe he's going be a grand thief. <laughs> you talking up in the house. <laughs> Call you from your house. Where you at? <laughs> huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> so look at me. You don't think I used to be a thief? Mm -hmm. Good at it. God of mine. <laughs> Ooh. Anyways. So, uh, uh, Romans 8, 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Uh -huh. So what I'm going through right now, the, uh, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time it's not worthy to be compared. Uh -huh. See where God is taking me. Yeah. See, I'm going through right now for where I'm going to be at later. Yes, right. sir. Uh -huh. But if I don't go through this thing right now, I can't get to where God is going. Uh -huh. I know he told me I'm going to the mountain, but if I complain in the valley, I'll never get to the God. mountain. Hallelujah. Yes. See, Paul said, whatever state I find myself in, therefore, to be content. I won't complain. I won't murmur. You, you, you looking at me, you can't, you have no idea what's going on with me. My God, come on now. Yeah, I, I, I look, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to uh, uh, hide nothing. I just, the anointing covers what I'm going through sometimes. Ooh, you better say so. I preach, I, I've been preaching, man, I'm telling you something, I, and I need to be preached too, but I didn't quit. Amen. Come on, talk to me. I, I promise you. I didn't never, I didn't never go buy the towel to throw it. I didn't never wave the white flag. I just endured hardship as a good soldier. Woo! Yeah, so when promotion time come, I was ready. So God repent the stripes on me. Preaching. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Said yeah. one past season, I could shut the church down. Couldn't take it. But I grew up. God Almighty Jesus. I grew up. I thought I realized then this thing wasn't about me. I didn't quit now, I just closed the church. I kept going. I took the church with me. Amen. Did I tell you? Amen. Amen. Did I tell you? I took it with me. Everybody didn't go, but they don't know that I took some with me. Amen. Whosoever will, let them go. Come on, come on. Yeah. You can lead a horse to water. Mm. Uh, you can't make it drink. <laughs> Our present situation is for a now preparation. Come on. That's good. God is preparing you for greater. For what you're going through right now. You don't complain about the suffering. 
Don't complain about what you got to go through to get to the next dimension. Because if you complain on this level, you'll complain on the next. So you got to get murmuring and complaining out of you or you'll keep going around in the wilderness. Yeah, and then what happens in the wilderness, you won't never make it to the promised land. You always die where you at. Come on, preach it. My God, I'm helping somebody. This thing helping me. Glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel this right here. So watch this right here. God is preparing me to conquer. God Almighty. God has put his word in us to speak to nations. God is raising up the, the fivefold to speak to the whole world. Wherever you find yourself in the in the, in the ascension gifts, stop letting people tell you that you can't do this and you can't do that. Oh God, they call you to that. It's fine. I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Amen. I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. I ain't trying to make myself popular. Jeremiah won't popular. Amen. Anybody that's telling the truth, they ain't gonna feel no church up. Huh? That's right. Yeah, they ain't gonna know. They. Right. I, I, I ain't never seen a whole lot of field churches telling the whole truth. Okay. Huh? And then take you to the scripture and then show you. Uh -huh. Yeah, me, 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 me and my wife were listening to a guy the other day, and, and he was talking about homosexuality and gays in the church, and, and, and somebody called him out on it. So when they called him out and told, told him he needed to repent, <laughs> told him that the people need to repent and all this, he, he went back and tried to fix it up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tried to fix it up. No, 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 the Bible is plain. Mm -hmm. It is plain. On certain conditions, if you continue in this, right. you will not inherit. I don't care how gifted you are. I don't care if you can make a mute dead mule get up more. Yes, Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You might be moving the crowd, but you ain't moving heaven. Yes, Come on. Yeah. Huh? See and see, a lot of times when you got a bunch, the spirit of entertainment has taken over the body of Christ. Come on. Come on. Come on. I guarantee you I can buy a lighted, a, a lighted sign and put it out there saying fried chicken every service. I guarantee you it won't be no room to park out there. <laughs> right. We feed out there every service. I guarantee you that they, they'll be just like Jesus. They start falling for the fish and the loaves. And when Jesus told him, said, now look, I know I fed you, but now it's time to go to the next place. He said, if you want to continue following me, this is what you're going to have to do. Yeah. The Bible said many stopped following from that day forward. Yeah. My God, come on now. And then he asked the disciples, is your mind made up? Uh, Will you lead me to? Yeah. The disciples said, well, look, we done gave up everything. We, you know, you got the word. Then where should we go? You have the word of eternal life. Come on, you preach it. Huh? Yes. So, so God said, listen, son, don't start with gimmicks and tricks. Come on. He said, just preach my word and teach my people. That's and that's it. what I've been doing for the last almost 18 years. Amen. 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 A whole lot came and a whole lot left. Uh -huh. It's okay. Amen. Yeah, it's okay. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't been nowhere to. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Can I leave? Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. Amen. But I choose to serve him. Amen. I just choose to serve him, man. Amen. Listen to Those of us that have been intimate with God and have became pregnant with the word. Ah, 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 a rhema. Pregnant with a rhema word. God Almighty. It's now time to deliver that word to a multitude. Our turn is at hand. Yes. See, the world is in the condition now where the truth has got to be spoken. You got to pull. I'm talking about pull the cover off of it. Huh? You can't look. People talking about sugar coat. You can't put no sugar on the word. The word of shake. The word of shake the sugar off, man. Woo! Sugar don't even stick to God. Come on now. That's right. It's good. And when you preaching the truth, it gonna upset folk. Yes, sir. I told you it upset you, but after a while, let it marinate. Amen. It'll Come bless you. That's it. That's it. It'll bless you. I see people come in one way, and I just watch them over the course of just a few months, and then I see them now they're hungry for God. Yeah. It ain't nothing that I've done. It was the word. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men. Woo! See, when you when you preach the truth, it's lifting up Jesus. Amen. Huh? Come on. Come on. It's, I'm telling you. And watch this. Everybody can't do this now, so listen closely. Uh, I can preach the word for an hour and a half, and you'll never get tired. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. Why? Because I got something to say. Come on. Huh? Now, you get up here with a lecture, and they... <laughs> Don't take it personally. 
So God have even uh, sent his anointing before us to destroy any hindrances. Come on. Yeah. See, when God sends you to a place uh, and, and you got a word to speak, he'll move stuff out the way. People don't even want to, people don't even care nothing about you and invite you. Mm. My God. Come on. They won't, they won't ask you. They'll send to somebody, see if your pastor wants to come over and preach. <laughs> Most gladly. You, you, so you answer too fast. <laughs> Listen to this. It's time to pursue our destiny. I said it again. It's time to go after the thing that God has put in you. Your destiny is <laughs> what you call to be is your destiny. Yeah. You got to pursue your destiny. I know people tell you your destiny was a place. No, destination yeah. is a place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. So the time and season is ready. Yes. Mm, God, speak whatever God commands you to speak. Don't allow people's countenance or their reaction to the spoken word to cause you to back down. You got to keep mashing the gas. Yeah. I remember, I remember we was in the old building over there. I used to be preaching and, and, and Minister Sugg said, Minister Sugg, that thing be hitting hard. And Minister Sugg would say, mash the gas. That's right. <laughs> God, my, that's, that, that's how you can tell that thing is hitting right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, 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 come on. That's when that thing reaches me. Uh, Romans 8.31. If God be for us, who can be against us? Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, when God is on your side, it don't make no difference. The whole world can hate you. Jesus understood. See, when you understand who you are in Christ, it don't make no difference what them Gentiles think about you. Yes, sir. Huh? Can you get to a place, look you, you get to a place and say, God, whatever you tell me to say, wherever you send me to go, I'll go and I'll say whatever it is I need to say. Amen. 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 Come on. If God opened the door, can't no man shut it. Uh -huh. Come on, you preach it. Can't no man shut the door. If God opened the door, they ain't want you to come. God will snatch the door open. Let them come. I don't care how big the ministry is. There's something that that ministry got to be lacking to be said in truth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Come on, I'm telling you, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this right here. Uh, if God be for us, who can be against us? The word if in the Greek is since. Since God be. <laughs> since God be for me. Man, if God is on your side, it don't make no difference what the president said. Yeah, that's right. That's right. If God said you're going to the White House, and God said that the president might say, not this week, God said no, but next week. Uh -huh. okay, come on, come on. <laughs> but he's going. Yeah. Okay, my last point. Let me get out your way. This is one you like right here. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon Ooh. formed against you shall prosper. Come on. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. You You got the power to condemn any word that's spoken against you. You got more power than you think, but you scared to tell them. Oh you scared to tell them. I don't care if it's your beautician doing your hair. Excuse me. Get saved. Yeah. So whenever you follow specific instructions, God is obligated to defend you. I said when you follow God's specific instructions, God is obligated to defend you. Huh? He's obligated to defend you. See, it come a time when you got to defend certain things in the kingdom. Then it come a time when the kingdom will defend you. See, when God gave me time to get right and I follow his instructions and do what he told me to do, maybe he told me to cut somebody off. Maybe he told me to stay off the phone with this person. Maybe he told me to leave them alone. I've done that. Now God is obligated to move in my life. I ain't talking about stuff. I'm sick of people with stuff. You got too much stuff already. You need more God. You need more of God. Good, yeah, you need more of God. Baptist churches don't call me to come preach. <laughs> Ain't nothing against Baptist churches. Amen. But they're already in tradition. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Come on. Yeah. God, I guarantee what's, what's the Sunday? First Sunday. I guarantee they have a communion. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to criticize you in white. Well, what's the white for? <laughs> then you'll go back in whore. What's the white for? Uh, gee, come on. My God. It is. You can go back and lie on somebody. What's the white for? And people, and people came to this and said, y'all don't do communion every first Sunday? 
Show it to me in the book. The Bible, <laughs> the Bible said, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Huh? It's okay. Because we don't do what y'all do. It's all right. Hey man, it's okay. We we getting the cat skin over here. Huh? It don't make no difference. I just get it. Just get him skin. I'm not guarantee when the cat come in clothes, he'll go out skin. Huh? We the cat. They start saying people, oh, they free. No, oh, they free. God, they say. Come on. But see, we don't come over here to waste time. Amen. Amen. There ain't no time to be wasting time. Time you can't get back. Right. Amen. Amen. When I look, when I invest in something and lose money, I keep it moving, man. Amen. Money don't make me. I make money. Amen. Amen. I make money. You know, I'm crying over that right now. I'm gonna miss something. Uh -huh. Keep moving, MacNeil. 